Hello, ladies of Grace, and welcome back to another episode here of Grace Field. If you're new here, I just want to say I appreciate you taking the time to stop by. My name is Christy, and I am a wife of 12 years. I am a mommy of five. I'm a homeschool mom of 10 years. And some kind of way along the way, uh, I'm a mama of 10 kittens. <laughs> And I think I have um, 10 chickens too, 10 hens. So there we go. Word of the year for 2022 is homemaking. So I thought I would do a video on 10 habits that I'm keeping for 2022. And then I'll come back and my next video will be uh, 10 things that I'm changing homemaking related in 2022 first habit that I'm keeping, you already know, is spending time in the morning with the Most High, spending time with God, spending time with Yah. That time is so precious, getting the direction and just really starting my day off rooted and grounded in Him. <laughs> the second thing that I am going to be keeping is waking up early. For the first time in years, I am able to wake up before five o'clock for so long. It was like six o'clock and, you know, maybe 5.45. Um, I've never been able to really get much ahead of that. So I'm so happy that I'm up most days before five o'clock. And I find that I have more time to just have quiet for me. Christy, you know, time with the most high first. And then I normally have time that I read, that I write, um, that I maybe I edit a few videos. And so that's how I've been able to get a few more videos out. The next thing is taking my vitamins. I am plant-based and I find that just staying on top of my health and nutrition is really, really amazing for me. And I feel so good taking my vitamins and knowing that I am getting the nutrition that I need. The next thing is planning out my week and my day. I will be sharing with you in the upcoming um, video my planner. And, but here's just the page I didn't write anything in, but I have a planner that is actually um, broken down by time. And then I have a to-do list there and that works really well for me. I enjoy having a planner like that. I found that it's really helped me a lot. The next tip is decluttering and stand organized. We are a large family. When we are all together, there is seven of us in so that's seven pair of shoes, seven jackets, and seven hats. And so the things can accumulate quick and fast. And so I just find by giving everything a home, a place, and a space, it's easy for us to know where things belong, where they go. And by getting rid of the things that no longer serve us purpose, the things that we don't love, need, use, or want, we free up space to one, just have a neat and tidy home, but two, so that we're not spending time that we could be enjoying other things on maintaining things that we have. The next one is spending time at my home and just staying home. Like, oh, it is so easy to overcommit yourself and to commit yourself to doing a million and one things and all over the place, but I, I'm just enjoying putting my touches on my home. Taking care of my husband's um, food needs, would you say? <laughs> I try to make him breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if I'm not making him breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I am just being conscious that there is something that he can just grab for breakfast. And he likes it when I make his coffee in the mornings and I try just to make a little bit extra or we have leftovers. So just use that and that really works well. Self-care and skincare. If you've been following me for a while, I am very big on my skincare. I love my skincare. I've used the exact one for probably close to five years. I love it and I just like taking care of myself, not from a vanity perspective, but this is my temple. I only have the one and I want to show um, the most high 
that I am thankful for this body. And one of the ways is by taking care of it. And I just love aromatherapy. So I love just having a little spray of something <laughs> here and there and keeping things very minimal and modest but even with minimal and modest you can look and feel and smell amazing the next one is letting his light shine in me and that kind of goes back to the minimism part and to the modest part because when you are so bombarded by things you can miss the thing that's the presence that's right there with you and in front of you because all the things are taking up the space. I don't want the things, I want his presence. And along the same things, lines of modesty is I don't want the, the spotlight to be on me and I don't want the scene to be um, made about me, but it's all for him and for his glory. And the last one is I am keeping my creative outlet. So, YouTube videos, watching videos, making videos, I love my creative outlet. And one of the things that I am working on for this year is my sewing skills. So that's another creative outlet. I have a few, but those are some things that I am keeping as a homemaker going into this 2022 year. And let me know in the description box which things you will be taking into your year as well. I don't make this video super long, so I'll be back tomorrow to talk about the 10 habits I hope to improve upon for this 2022 year. Well, guys, I always say here on my channel, you can do a lot with a little. And until the next time, blessings.